love Istanbul. I came for the first time four years ago and I felt immediately this is my spiritual home. Partly because I'm obsessed with aubergine, so the food here drives me crazy. Very interesting, very inspiring. I think it's a, this is my first startup in Istanbul. A really collated key players throughout the region, not only Turkish, but throughout the region. And, um, both on the startup side, but also on the investor side and the, the backbone, so uh, on the corporate and accelerator side. So I'm very impressed. Yes, I've seen a few that I really like, and um, I'm already in discussions of uh, working with a few of them. So, yes. Well, Turkey in itself is a big market, uh, and there the ecosystem has fostered a few great players. I think, though, that there's room for a bit more ambition. I'd like to see that um, entrepreneurs thinking more than region and thinking globally because there is actual innovation coming out of here but and I'm generalizing of course but um, I think sometimes in a big market you tend to only look at that uh, big market as a Swede we have to go global because Sweden is freaking tiny um, and that puts us in an advantage actually yeah, so I'm an entrepreneur. I've founded and co-founded a few different businesses, all in the mobile space. The one the most well-known is a business called Wrap, which is a social gifting application that we built in Sweden and then moved uh, to the US. Uh, I have an amazing board that I love to brag about. So the founder of Skype, Mr. Nicholas Sandstrom, and the founder of LinkedIn, Mr. Reid Hoffman, were two of the early investors. And it's one of those classic stories of super hyped, super disaster, super hyped. Uh, we've in total raised uh, $26 million and now pivoted, moved it back to Sweden, cut all, uh, fired a lot of people and now created a new product that uh, hopefully is uh, going to be successful. I'm no longer operational in that business. I'm now a uh, startup, early stage startup advisor. Also working with the governments on uh, building ecosystems. Uh, and I've done a few small angel inv investments, mainly in the Middle East. So Middle East and Turkey are my core markets. I find them hugely uh, interesting. And the first mover advantage, I think, uh, will serve, serve us all well. As I said, be ambitious, go global, think global. Even if you don't reach that, that needs to be the mindset because if that's the mindset, uh, you think differently about everything that you build in your product. That coupled with um, a, a phrase that I love, perpetual beta. Never think that your business is up and running and ready. Always have ears and, uh, and eyes to the ground. What's going on? Who's doing what? And build an organization that has the ability to be nimble and flexible. Those two in combination will hopefully give you success.